Let's talk about biofeedback scans using Generator X. After your Generator X biofeedback scan is completed, can you run those hits on an XM generator? Well, you can, but an XM generator can only go to 5 MHz. You can use wave cycle multipliers and you can go up to 25 MHz, but the accuracy is reduced. That's the disadvantage if you go for the higher frequencies. The regular biofeedback scans with Generator X can go all the way up to 17 MHz. So just be aware that for the higher frequencies, you will need to use a wave cycle multiplier and you may lose the accuracy if you're running the hits on an XM generator. Can you do an offline biofeedback scan on Generator X? By offline it means not use a computer connected to Generator X. Well, Generator X can run programs without a computer, but it can't do a biofeedback scan without a computer. The computer does all the calculations which are required during the course of the biofeedback scan. The generator can't do that without a computer. People have asked us, why do reverse lookups not give much in the way of results? There's several reasons how this can happen, but you've got to just keep in mind what a reverse lookup is. A reverse lookup is finding database matches that are the same as the hits that were found in the biofeedback scan. Now, if no database frequencies match the biofeedback frequency hits, then nothing will be reported. So it could just mean that the condition that you have is not within the database. There's other things that can cause this as well. If you have a tolerance, which is how far across the database frequency do you want to find uh, regard as a hit. Um, if the tolerance is too low, then the number of reverse lookup matches is going to be reduced as well. If you want to see more hits, you increase this tolerance. If you want to see still more hits, you select the option to include octaves and sub-octaves. These are harmonics of the hit frequencies because some of the frequencies in the database are very high. Let's say you've got a hit for Candida and you've got the DNA database loaded. Well, the DNA database frequencies are all extremely high. So you'll have to add the harmonic content of the hits to find the corresponding match and get the report and the reverse lookup. Spooky Digitizer is a wonderful accessory that can be used with Generator X. People have asked us, are they only good for a certain number of uses or can you keep on cleaning them? Well, you can clean them as many times and use them as many times as you like. Just make sure that the slides are always dry when you use it next. So you can use them, uh, you can clean them with alcohol, wipe them, let them dry and then use them again. There's no limit to how long they will last. Just so long as the slides haven't been physically damaged and they haven't had any moisture absorbed in the centre of the slide. The slide is made from a material that absorbs moisture. It's important to keep them dry. Now we recommend using nails for Spooky to Remote. But can you use nails for Spooky Digitizer? Well, that's quite a clever thought. Well, when you think about it, Spooky to Digitizer needs to have the slides touching each other or virtually touching each other. But if you put something like a nail between the slides, there's going to be a gap. So you can't put whole nails in there. But we can use the dust from nails. And you're going to ask me, what, where do you get dust from nails from? Well, you just use a nail file and you just give yourself a manicure. You collect the dust, you put, sprinkle that in the slide, and then you put the other slide on top. And that will work perfectly well. It's got the DNA, it's got the physical nail inside between the slides, 
and you then slide that into the holder and you run the biofeedback on that. That should work okay. Now while we're talking about Spooky Tree Digitizer, how long can the sample remain between the slides? Well if you use the dust from nails it can be just about forever. But most people would use saliva or blood or urine in the slides. Now those are all yucky things, things that won't last very long, in particular in an environment where it's warm. You'll get the decomposition in whatever you're using and it'll turn a little bit nasty in a short period of time. So we recommend that the, at the absolute most eight hours. I guess if you're in a hot tropical country the time may be reduced and conversely if you're in a very cold climate in a cold room then the time may be extended. Spooky 2 Digitizer can also function as a very crude remote and you can perform scan and run cycles on the same sample during the course of a day. Again, run up to eight hours and after that eight hours then you want to replace the sample that you have in the sample digitizer. And the final question is, does Spooky2 sample digitizer only work with Generator X? Can it also work on the lovely XM generator? Well, unfortunately, the XM generator lacks the electronics that's required to sense what the signal is doing. So it can't be used with Sample Digitizer. Only Generator X works with Sample Digitizer.